28-year-old Emilienne Binzi immersed in her latest car repair job. In Cameroon, fixing cars is still considered to be a man's job, but Binzi is leading the way for women in her country. Her garage in the capital, Yaoundé, has now been open for two years. It's difficult. I always have to prove that I'm capable. If I don't, then the clients are not convinced. 15 out of 20 clients used to have this problem, but now they are convinced because they've always had a positive result. Ferdinand Eta has been a regular customer for a year. When I came here for the first time, I kept an eye on her work. I said to myself that I will see what a woman can do, but she did a good job. Then I got used to her doing it well. Emilienne is following in the footsteps of her father, Pierre Binzi, who was a mechanic for 25 years. He found it difficult to accept his daughter's decision to quit high school and train as a mechanic. When my daughter said to me that she wanted to become a mechanic, I said, will you be able? That's a man's job. Then she said, I want to do this work. I asked her what her motivation was, and she said, when I saw you wearing a mechanic shirt. Then I understood that she really wanted to become a mechanic. Horizon Femme is a non-governmental organization campaigning against social inequality for women in Cameroon. Its member, Denise Ngacho, says Cameroonians need to change their attitudes towards women in the workplace. There is a social-cultural aspect which prevents women and men from thinking that everybody can do the same work. The law does not prevent women from doing any specific work. Ngacho hopes Binzi's success will inspire more women to feel free to choose the work they want. And the message seems to be getting through. This is another female mechanic of the very near future, Evelyn Ndongo. The 26-year-old in training says she's always dreamt of fixing cars, but never dared put herself forward. That is, until she heard about Emilian Binzi. Clementine Logan, CCTV.